I'm going to rank every single attacker here in Rainbow Six Siege based on how fun I think they are to play. Obviously, this is 100% a very subjective video. So if you have a different opinion on who you think which attacker is the most fun to play, please feel free to share in the comments below. Let's first start off at the rank at D tier with attackers that I don't think are very fun. Move all the way to the rank of S tier with attackers that I think are almost always fun to play. So starting off first at D tier is Gridlock. To be honest, guys, Gridlock isn't really all that fun to play. Yeah, she has some redeeming qualities, like she is a anti-flanker, but you know, being a three armor with like average guns doesn't really make for fun gameplay, in my opinion. There isn't really any great cosmetics that make her like really fun and appealing. She's just kind of there and Nomad does everything she does, but arguably better. Moving on is an operator that I think is going to get a lot of controversy here. And to me, honestly, I don't like playing Dokubi. It's something about the DMR with the high optic, which I just don't find that satisfying. The SMG 12 now, it is a little easier to control now. I still think it's a little challenging to use. I feel very cheesed if I kill a defender where their phone is ringing. I feel like that's not really fair to them. And the boss G8 cog, well, it can be fun. You're just putting yourself at a disadvantage and dying a lot, which isn't fun spectating other people play. Now, moving on is another operator that has one of my favorite lores ever, same with Doki Beast. But unfortunately, I just don't like playing. And that operator is Lion. Now, I know there's going to be a lot of people who just really disagree with this choice of me putting lion in d tier but I, for me guys i just i don't know what it is about lion i just when i got footage for that lore video i just it was miserable i just I, I don't know what it was but i could not hit any shots i felt like his gadget didn't really do anything they didn't really bring any other utility i just I, I don't know i just didn't have fun with lion i i'm so sorry that's why i said this is a subjective video moving on our c tier operators that i think can have some fun moments but most of the time is kind of lackluster and boring we're gonna start off with capito so capito can have some great plays with his asphyxiating bolts and his smoke uh you know crossbow shooty things but with a very average weapon kit and not a great amount of utility and no super great cosmetics i just feel like capito is kind of pushed off to the side on the fun list next up is thatcher now thatcher is probably one of the easiest operators to play if not the easiest attacker to play yeah you kind of have to know where to throw your emp grenades and when to time it right because it doesn't destroy anything anymore it just disables them but most of the time he is banned so you're not even really gonna play him anyways his weapon pool is pretty good but other than that like i just don't have a lot of fun playing thatcher now coming up next on the fun list for c tier is blackbeard now Blackbeard can have some pretty fun moments when you survive headshots, but then it is immediately replaced with the feeling of guilt for using Blackbeard to get a kill. And seeing what the enemy team types in all chat when I kill them can also make me, well, I guess a little upset when they call me names for using Blackbeard. Now up next on C tier is Thermite. Now I do have a decent amount of fun playing Thermite. He's a great operator, obviously he's got a good gun. I have black ice on his uh, assault rifle, so I love it. But the way you have to play Thermite is I think the biggest thing that doesn't make him really fun. You have to play very conservative. You have to drone. You have to be very safe because if you die, you're not getting through that wall. So what I'm trying to get at is Thermite as a whole is kind of fun to play. But the way you have to play Thermite to be competitive is not fun to play. Coming up last on C tier for fun list is Zero. Now, I do apologize, guys, but Zero just isn't, to me, isn't really that fun to play. His Argus cameras can be put in some great locations, but they're so loud and they get shot anyway, so they're kind of like a non-factor. MP7 on attack is pretty cool, though. I will say that. But other than that, like, I don't know. It's just me. I don't have a lot of fun with them. Moving on to the B tier T list for attackers on the most fun attackers to play. And I'm going to start off with Nomad. I think the reason why Nomad is placed at a pretty solid b tier is because it's always fun to choose which gun you're gonna use or you can use the ak or the arx and it is also oddly satisfying when a defender hits your air jab and a teammate or you get the kill right after that because you know you made that impact coming up next is montane and i think montane can be really fun to play but also really frustrating to play he could be really fun when pushes work really well and everyone's focused on you. And then you have the enemy team say, dude, that Monty's so good. Or it could be really annoying when your teammates aren't playing around you. They shoot you in the back of the head and you're left in a 1v3 inevitably to die. Coming up next to C tier is Maverick. Now I think Maverick can be pretty fun to play, but also I think his play style is pretty tedious. You have to get really exposed and really close to the wall and be very, very precise. It takes a lot of skill. Yeah, he's got frag grenades, a pretty good weapon and his blowtorch has absolutely no counters. But to me personally, I just don't like playing Maverick. Up next is Sophia. Now you may be wondering why I put Sophia in B tier. And to be honest, I don't really play her very much. So I don't have that much experience with her. And to me, she's just another fragger with now a very heavy recoil gun. With a couple of breaching rounds and concussion rounds, to me, it's just kind of eh, I don't know why. Coming up next is Jackal. Now Jackal can have some very satisfying and really fun gameplay. 
But then again, just like Blackbeard, it's immediately followed up with guilt and regret and pain when the enemy team just absolutely spams you with negative and hateful comments because you play Jackal to kill them. But he is fun to play though. Up next is Sledge. Now Sledge is the most basic operator kind of out there to be honest. He's got Sledgehammer, grenades, a very low recoil gun. What can you not love about him? I think his gameplay can be fun, but also at the same time, it's kind of the same thing over and over again. There's really not much room to expand upon his kit. Coming up next on B tier is Ash. Now I do think that Ash is probably pretty fun to play, but not so much anymore after she got her nerfs. If this tier list was made before she got her huge R4C recoil nerf, she'd probably be bumped to A tier, but I'm gonna leave her down at B. Up next in B tier is Buck. Now Buck can be pretty fun to play, although sometimes if you can't control his recoil enough, that can be kind of annoying. It does take a lot of skill and a lot of map knowledge to use his skeleton key correctly for vertical play, but they took away his frag grenade, so that kind of sucks too. Coming up next is IQ. Now Viper, if you're watching the video, I do apologize, but IQ, I'm gonna leave it at B tier. The thing is, is IQ has a good array of weapons to use she's a pretty good entry fragger but she doesn't bring hardly any utility at all unless you're able to shoot something through the floor which let's be honest sometimes it just doesn't really happen so there's not much to iq besides a gun to be honest now coming up next on b tier is fuse i think fuse has some really hilarious and fun moments to play but is very limited with his movement speed and well the ak-12 is good but i think the movement speed and the lack of areas where you could properly place an effective cluster charge gadget is kind of underwhelming as well other than that other than that when the cluster charge does work and it actually gets a kill man is that satisfying moving on from b tier to a tier we got operators that i think are majority of the time are actually really fun to play no matter what circumstance now coming up first on a tier is blitz now blitz can be very very fun to play but also same time very aggravating and frustrating to play you know when he works and he's just rushing site you know roamer after roamer clearing out people on the site and anchoring that is really fun. But when you get shot through your shield, when you're literally staring right at them and you just get shot through your shield, you watch the kill cam, that sucks also. I'm gonna leave him at A tier because he does have some hilarious and great moments. Coming up next on A tier is Finka. Now, the only reason, the only reason why I'm putting Finka at A tier is because it is really fun to rush with their shotgun, popping a stin and just completely just rushing site, going up main stairs on border, up towards metal. That is a lot of fun. And I have fond memories of that. So I'm gonna leave Finca at A tier. Now up next on A tier is Flores. I think Flores is criminally underrated. Huh? Get it, criminal. You would know if you watched my Flores lore video. No, but no, seriously, Flores is actually really fun to play. The amount of utility you could clear with his RCE drones. And you know, if you could clear out a defender who's been anchoring behind like, let's say half wall on border, leading to you or a teammate getting that kill is also really sad satisfying as well up next is ying on a tier now i think ying is pretty fun to play and also very underrated as well it is honestly so hilarious sometimes when you throw three candelas on site and you know that every single player on the enemy team's eyes are literally burned and singed and their eyeballs are burning alive because their screens are completely white and you're just going in just poof, pop, pop, picking them off it's pretty fun up next in a tier is habana i think habana is also pretty fun to play obviously her worst redeeming quality is the 21 round meg but with the bearing nine secondary getting its recoil buff is honestly really good. I just think she's really fun to play. She's very useful. Uh, you feel like you made a huge impact on the team if you get all the hatches. And I feel like her gun is very satisfying. Plus, she's got a lot of really cool skins that I like repping as well. Coming up next on A tier is Yana. Do I need to say more, really? I mean, Yana's really fun. She got the hologram. She got grenades. She got gone six. And then, really, come on. You know the MVP screen at the very end? And you know, you, you see that. You know what I'm talking about. Last attacking operator I'm going to put in A tier is Twitch. I think Twitch is actually really fun to play. The F2 is so satisfying. And with the the flash hider added on now the f2 is actually the recoil isn't really that bad anymore plus it's really fun to shock people with the drone clear out cameras in the prep phase clear a lot of utility i think twitch is really fun to play plus i have black ice in the f2 so i like uh repping that as well now here we are the s tier operators the operators that i believe to be the most fun to play almost all the time you pick them and starting off in that list is going to be nook i think nook is actually one of the most fun operators to play in the game except she just has almost the most counters in the game that directly counter her gadget it is so satisfying to sneak past the camera when you know someone is watching it just to end up on site and kill like two or three people when that works it works when it doesn't work you're just kind of another operator with a bad gun honestly on attack 
And but I think she's really fun. Coming up next on S tier is Amaru. And man, when Amaru works, it is so satisfying. If you time it just right and tell a teammate to shoot to make some noise, you can skyrocket up to that window where no one's expecting you. Take out two, three people on site with that G8 and this is so much fun. Coming up next on S tier is Cali. Now, I do think Cali is really, really fun to play. Obviously, sometimes you feel like you get cheesed when you feel like you shot someone and you should have downed them, but that doesn't happen. But man, is it really satisfying sometimes when you land those crazy shots with Cali? And I got a serious question to ask you guys. Have you ever no scoped with Cali? Let me know. Coming up next on S tier is Rainbow's other sniper, Glass. Now, I do feel like Glass is really, really fun to play. Is he good? No, not really. Does he really help the team? Not really. Is he really fun to play? Yeah. Something about shooting people through smoke every once in a while with a very underwhelming gun feels pretty fun. Plus the nostalgia and the memes surrounding glass, I think is really fun as well. I'm gonna leave him in S tier. Coming up next on S tier and the second to last operator is going to be Ace. Now this is uh, once again, a subjective video and Ace for most people is probably gonna be maybe A, B, maybe C tier. But for me, man, do I love playing Ace. He is the complete package. Hard breacher, check. Being able to kill anybody that you see with the AK-12, check can he be an entry fragger support and flex yeah check 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 yeah i also like the lore behind him and he's mr clout god and i want to be mr clout god now coming up last in s tier and the final attacker on today's video is going to be recruit and gosh darn it recruit is probably the most fun operator to play when you can play him there is almost nothing in siege more satisfying than five recruits with the german m870 shotgun just completely rushing site team killing teammates who did not pick recruit along the way to site and completely memeing on the defending team usually resulting in a pretty fun round well guys what'd you think about my list do you agree let me know in the comments below like the video for a defender tier list if you want to see one make sure to subscribe notifications if you do now with all that being said jeppy out i think i poked my eye right there like actually kind of hurt